Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I want to introduce you to two web parts that, in my opinion, do not get a lot of attention or usage in SharePoint Online, but the two web parts that I think you will really benefit from when you are designing your pages in SharePoint. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, so let me edit this page. Uh, this happens to be a SharePoint internet home site. I'm editing the page here. And I have these two web parts over here, but there is really nothing that's separating them, all right? Uh, it's not that visually appealing, you know, when, it, uh, when they appear on the page. So I want to put uh, some sort of separator between them. So the web part you want to use for that is um, called divider. Uh, so what you need to do is just hover over in between the web part and the web part you want to choose is this divider right here and there are some additional settings you can actually set the weight um, you know um, the thickness uh, of the line as well as the length of the line so we can make it a little bit shorter just like that all right uh, and then all you need to do is just click publish and here is what it looks like uh, again it's just a nice way in my opinion to uh, kind of introduce a little bit of a border, if you will, between the two web parts. Uh, so that's web part number one. The second web part uh, that uh, you could also use to improve your page design would be the spacer web part. Let me show you what it is. So let me edit the page. And um, let's just say, you know, I want to align some web parts on my page. Uh, what you can do is add this web part called uh, spacer. And all it does, it just literally just pretty much empty space, all right? It just um, uh, inserts blank space, if you will, uh, on the page. And you can uh, make it really small. I guess 16 pixel is the minimum uh, or really, you know, really high in terms of, uh, you know, height. And I think 320 pixels is the maximum. Um, so um, this is the second web part again, you know, just allows you, let me republish it and let me show you what it looks like. So as you can see, I just inserted some space in between. Sometimes well, when you have way too many web parts on your page and you want to align them in a certain way, this is a really nice web part uh, to use. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.